Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 13.55, okay? It says, determine the maximum constant speed at which the pilot can travel around the vertical curve having a radius of curvature rho equal to 800 meter so that he experiences a maximum acceleration an equal to ag which is equal to 78.5 meters per second square. If he has a mass of 70 kilograms, determine the normal force he exerts in the seat of the airplane when the plane is traveling at this speed and is at its lowest point. Okay, so what we can see in here is they're giving us that we have a plane inside of our plane. We are assuming that we have a pilot, of course, and it's driving uh, to this radius of curvature of 800 meters. So, they're asking us two things. The first one is to determine the maximum constant speed at which this pilot can travel. And the second one is to determine the normal force he exerts on the seat. So in order to solve these problems, what I always like to do is write my givens. So let's just start. The first given that it's telling uh, in our problem statement is that our radius of curvature is equal to 800 meters. Then they're also telling us that our acceleration or our normal acceleration is equal to 8g, which is equal to 78.5 meters per second square. Okay. Next, they're telling us that the mass of this pilot is equal to 70 kilograms. All right. So the first question is, is to determine the maximum constant speed at which we can travel. And the good thing is that we can relate our normal acceleration with our velocity or our speed. And if we recall from previous chapters, our normal acceleration, it's related by velocity by this equation where our normal acceleration is equal to velocity squared divided by our radius of curvature. Okay, so if we solve for our velocity, we will find out that our velocity is going to be equal to the square root of my acceleration multiplied by my radius of curvature. So now that we have our speed or velocity equation, what we can do is that we're going to plug in the value since we know the value for both the acceleration and the radius of curvature. So we have the, re, uh, the acceleration, which is 78.5, multiplied by my radius, which is 800 meters. And if we plug this into our calculator, we will find out that this is equal to 250.6 meters per second. And we just found out the first solution for this problem. Next, we're going to, we need to determine the normal force he exerts on the seat. So in order to do this, we're going to draw a free body diagram of our pilot. So we're going to do a free body diagram. And the pilot, while it's driving, will have a similar object. It's going to be a similar object like this. Okay. And we have the weight of the pilot that is going to be pushing me the pushing it downward in the normal direction. So this is the weight of the pilot. Then we have the normal that the seat is exerting on the pilot. And those are the only two forces we have. Now the last thing I'm gonna draw in this for the free body diagram is that we have our normal acceleration going in this direction. Okay? So I draw my guy a little bit inclined and it should look something like this. So more or less just following the radius, our radius in this direction. Okay. So that's my normal direction. And now that we know that we can perform a summatory of forces in the normal direction. And this should be equal to my mass times my acceleration in the normal direction. So what forces do we have? Well, if we assume that going up or more than up, going vertically up is positive, then what do we have? Well, we have positive, my normal force minus the weight has to be equal to my mass times positive acceleration, right? So 
The main goal is to solve for our normal force that we're exerting on the seat. So we're going to say that the normal force exerting on the seat is equal to my mass times my acceleration and we're going to add the weight. If we plug in the numbers where well, we know the mass is 70 kilograms, we got the acceleration to be 78.5, this is in meter per second square, plus my weight which is equal to mass times gravity, so mass which is 70 kilograms, times gravity which is 9.81 meter per second square. As we can see, we got kilograms, meter per second square. Again, kilogram, meter per second square. We have newtons, so both units match. So we have that our normal force, if we plug this into our calculator, will be having an equal of 6,182 newtons. Okay. And we just found out the second answer for this problem. So if you guys like the video, please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.